my name is Colby Ailey, and I'm a co-founder of Bug Shark. Um, Bug Shark, we uh, won the last startup weekend, uh, but really have now hunkered down and start uh, started working on a product uh, full time. Um, so, what is Bug Shark? Bug Shark is a tool for uh, freelance developers, uh, startups, and other larger software companies. Uh, we help them ensure that when they launch a product, there are no bugs. And we also make it easier to test their, their web-based products uh, for bugs or usab usability issues. So, so say but the, before the, the night before they launch a product, instead of having the whole team review it and then email the uh, lead developer notes and bugs and bug reports, uh, they can simply use Bug Shark, and that keeps track of all the... Uh, One of the major hurdles that I've had to overcome is uh, after my first startup weekend, uh, the one in, uh, I think it was spring 2012, uh, where I had a company that came out of that, uh, You Edit Me was the name of it, uh, um, and we, it was just, there's two of us uh, on the team, and our biggest problem was that we didn't have a developer, so we, we had a software product, uh, an, an idea, and everything behind it but we really didn't have anybody to sit down and write the code and I, I didn't and my co-founder didn't know uh, how to code either so so since then I've really said well I'm not gonna start another company or do any other uh, business ventures until I can code so uh, so since then I've been learning how to code uh, so that so that I'm not relying on other people and I can actually do things with uh, myself so that may not be, I may not be the software developer uh, for the product, but at least I know A, how it works, and then B, I can get uh, betas out of new ideas or just kind of uh, proof of concepts out. Um, another more recent hurdle that I've had to overcome with the, the uh, with Bug Shark is coming out of Startup Weekend. With that, we had a team of, I think, oh, I think it was 11 people, um, and and slowly we we had to we we found out that we couldn't really move on with that many people and we have we had about three developers including myself uh and then and then about uh eight uh business people and one designer so uh so so one of the things when i look back in hindsight we should have done that faster we should have uh gotten the team uh smaller right after startup weekend rather than waiting and it wasting time so that's definitely a tip if uh if you do do a startup weekend uh, uh just be really clear with your team and say okay who can uh contribute the most time and resources to the team and move on with those people so being in high school as an entrepreneur i think is is it's 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 tough but at the same time it's extremely rewarding to to know that the people don't really judge you based on your age and that you can you can still be successful and uh, and do things and uh, and to show that you that just because you're younger and that you're still in school uh, doesn't mean that you're handicapped um, as far as like what exactly it's like to be in high school and uh, be an entrepreneur I think it's uh, uh, basically, like, the relationships I have with my friends at school are much different than the relationships I have outside of school. Uh, I'm pretty clear with my friends, like, this is what I do. This is what I'm spending my weekends doing and my late Friday nights. Instead of going to parties, I'm uh, sitting in a room working on a web app or something like that or working on, working on Bug Shark and... Uh, and they they respect that, and every everybody really knows at my school that oh yeah, Colby does this, and uh, but at the same time, I, I think I'm I'm really fortunate to have the passion to uh, go out and do these do like startup weekend and actually learn how to code and stuff. That uh, I, I I wish it at least my school it was. Uh, there were more programming classes. I think that's very important. I think the uh, STEM. Uh, it's those kind of classes are being uh, introduced uh, soon, but they really haven't yeah, quite yet. And uh, I've heard of a couple that are, and they they seem slightly mediocre. And but but yeah, I think that's uh, 
I think when those do come along, I hope that it'll show a lot more students that uh, you can do stuff like this in high school. You can make software. You can uh, uh, you can uh, form form companies and everything. Uh, there, there's a business class in my school this year. Uh, it was the first year this year, and I'm planning on uh, being a part of it next year. But there, the the teacher sounds really awesome. He knows about Startup Weekend. He knows about He's pretty well connected in the Portland uh, entrepreneurship and startup scene, so sounds like a cool guy and a cool class, and and I think uh, I hope that really uh, piques a lot of students' interest. And one thing that I, I'd say has tripped me up is really being involved in too many products uh, and projects, rather. Uh, I've just too many side projects that uh, really. It's, it's hard to focus when you're working on multiple different pro projects. There's so many cool things that are going on, I think, right now that it's hard not to try and, uh, try and get your hand in everything and help out a little bit here and do something here and come up with this idea and do that. But it, it's, I think it's really important to focus and focus on uh, what you're working on and pick one or two things maybe that you, you really want to put the time and effort into rather than multiple different things that you're just contributing very little to each other. Really getting to know and going to networking events and getting to know the people in the Portland uh, entrepreneurship uh, and startup community is really important. Uh, additionally, like uh, be uh, becoming friends with developers and uh, learning how to code is also a great resource, especially when you're working on a software company or a software-based uh, uh, company or business venture. Uh, I th I'd say that if you, if you A, know a lot of entrepreneurs that you can look up to and you can go to for advice, uh, I think that, that has been really, really helpful and really beneficial to me in the past, uh, in the past few months while working on Bugshark. Um, then also developers where you can shoot an email and say, hey, what's wrong with my line of code? Why isn't it working? And then, uh, and then, that's how relationships are built. And I have a couple years left of high school, uh, and so not too long, um, but, but really post high school, where do I see myself in five years and where do I see myself in 10 years? That's uh, stuff that I think about, I think about enough, not, not enough to, to trip me up, of course, but, uh, but but yeah, I think that's re it's really important to look forward and look into the future and, and really, really set goals for yourself. And that's one thing I'm working on right now. I really like looking at, r looking at startups that instead of uh, wanting to grow and just get, become widely popular and get on TechCrunch every day and have so many employees and awesome offices, I think it's really important to, uh, I really like the, uh, the tiny startup uh, method that it's maybe just testing small ideas and and maybe just starting with one person and uh, doing everything yourself and then maybe seeing oh if if we can get some traction and if if uh, there's some good response to the idea then moving forward with it I think one of the one great example of this is a uh, pin board it's a uh, it's a startup ran by one guy. Uh, it's a paid service. You pay one time to sign up, and that's the whole thing. It's a software product, and he's ran it for, I think, about five years or so now. And it's been one person the whole time, and as far as I'm concerned, it's great software, and it's been widely successful. I'm mainly inspired by people who, who really have skills in multiple different areas, so who can... Uh, who are not only are uh, people who who really have great ideas and who uh, and who put a lot of, have great focus and put a lot of effort into into their ideas, but also can build them themselves and don't have to rely on other people. And so, people like the founder of Pinboard, I can't think of his name right now, but but those kind of people who who really have the skills to do everything themselves even if the product like I said isn't isn't popular but a product that's sustainable and makes so 
coming out of Startup Weekend, I think as I said this before, we had about uh, 10 people on the team. Uh, over about, the, about a month after Startup Weekend, a couple people left because they had other things they were doing. And then uh, a few other people, we, we, we noticed we had a huge team and a large team and it became really hard to work with that many people. Uh, so, so a couple more people left um, until it was down to three people. Uh, and then of those three people, we, we were in a really good place to move on. Uh, but then we all really got busy. One person had a baby. And so, so a couple of weeks after, we, we decided not to continue with Bug Shark uh, as a team. Um, and uh, we all kind of went our own ways, uh, uh, working on our own projects. Uh, I still think that Bug Shark as an idea is as something for developers to use to track uh, to to track bugs in their products. I think is still a very uh, would be very useful for someone like myself or or a small startup uh, like Bug Shark. Um, but uh, and I may revisit it in the future. But just Bug Shark is the team we had. It was it got hard to hard to work with people and uh, when it's really busy. Uh, one of the things I take away from Bug Shark, so at, at my first, uh, the first time I did Startup Weekend, I went away from that knowing that I wouldn't do another uh, internet start or uh, just technology startup in general, not knowing how to code. And this time, I, I'm really going away with I wouldn't do another uh, uh, technology startup, not or ha not having the whole team know how to code. I think it's really important that. Uh, you don't have to know how to code, but you just have to like, kind of have an idea of, even if it's just a concept conceptual idea of how things work, um, and that that makes it uh, makes it a lot easier to work with people, to work with developers, um, and definitely I wouldn't do a I wouldn't do a web startup not knowing those things. So moving on, um, I'm working on. A, we're, we're all working on different pro projects, like I said. Um, I'm working on a few different projects, uh, uh, testing things out, seeing oh, is this useful to people? Um, I'm helping a couple other people on their own startups, and uh, I'm looking for looking for things to do this summer.